Hey, what's good people? It's Jill Entertainment Network, and I'm back for another shooting location video. Now, this video is actually going to be different because um, I actually have seen some uh, court documents pulled up um, on the side here relating, kind of relating to this incident. Um, this isn't like a very structured video. I just turned the camera on because I want to kind of get this out there because this is a lot of breaking information coming out, so it's not going to be the most structured thing. Um, might be kind of all over the place, but I hope you can bear with me. So what this is concerning, this is concerning uh, ATK, um, specifically Blue, um, no face, Chris, but, uh, um, and the, um, the murder of, uh, Damon Rothmel in, uh, January of 2019. Uh, so I'll start with that first. I'll start with the shooting location, then move on to the paperwork. So basically what happened was, um, I believe it was on January 31st, 2019, a cyclist was, um, gunned down during a drive-by, um, over here on the south side by, uh, ATK members. Um, apparently this was an accident and, um, it was, you know, this, this actually, this incident didn't get a lot of coverage initially. Um, well, which makes sense because no one died. Um, none of the members died aside from this innocent guy, uh, unfortunately. But this incident actually is, is starting to play a bigger role in, in a lot of shit. Like, it's, it's one of those things where at first you, you don't think it's a big deal, but then it starts to, like, it, it actually, you realize how big of a deal it is. Because this one incident, um, this attempt um, on this particular uh, AV6 member um, resulting in Damon Rothmel's death is actually really fucking bad for ATK, and it, it's possibly the reason that ATK is having all these police issues. Like, this this murder is possibly the reason why uh, the police are coming so down, um, so hard down on ATK. Um, not actually the baby thing or the case of sn self-snitching or anything, it's actually this, which makes sense because it was a civilian. And um, if an ATK Rico does happen, this incident is almost certainly going to be a part of the um, the whole the whole thing. And, um, and it's possibly the reason if, if a Rico does happen, it may be the reason that started all this shit. Cause, uh, this incident was really when ATK really got on the JSO's radar, it seems. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So basically, uh, on January 31st, 2019, um, Damon Rothmel is like some 50 year old civilian, completely innocent guy, completely random, uh, not affiliated with anyone. He was just riding his bike down Emerson street when, um, a shootout between two cars happened over here in front of the, um, I believe this is a tinning shop. It's called like L L N P tinning over here. Um, and I can get the date most close to the incident would be April, 2019. Uh, and if you just pull up here, yeah, you can see, um, this is kind of what the place looked like around the time. Um, as you can see, this is like the tinning shop. So kind of like a strip mall. And basically what happened was, um, there was a person, an AV6 member sitting uh, in a Toyota RAV4 in the parking lot here. And this person has now been revealed to uh, to have been P-Money from AVB. Um, and I was actually very interested in this uh, at first. I was like, because um, I, I knew like some ATK members got arrested for this, but I was like, who were they even shooting at? I was I was just really interested to see who they were um, shooting at. And it's been confirmed now that that person was P-Money. And I don't believe he was with anyone. I think it was just P-Money um, by himself actually here. And, um, ATK pulled up. I, I'm not sure how they got the drop, because if you see on Google Maps, this is really far away from the north side, from the west side, from, from anything. This is, like, super, super far away, um, from any of the gang's hoods. Um, so I, I'm assuming they, they either, like, followed him or just got the drop from someone somehow. The, the paperwork actually doesn't talk about how they got the drop, but either way, they pulled up here, um, and started shooting at P-Money. Now, uh, Damon Rothmel, he was, he was probably on the sidewalk here, and he got shot off his bike, and, um, and died. And then, um, the craziest part, this is one of the craziest hits I've ever seen in my, like, like, actually, actually insane. One of the craziest hits. So they kill Damon Rothmel, right? They're shooting at P-Money over in the parking lot here. Kill Damon Rothmel, um, on the sidewalk here. Then they take off, start driving. And this is the craziest shit I've ever seen. P-Money starts his car and drives after the guys, okay? P-Money literally just got shot at. He starts his car, pulls out of the lot, and starts chasing the people who just shot at him. He he chases them, and he shoots up their car, and he ends up hitting uh, Butta from Flag Street. He ends up shooting him in the knee, and this is all on paperwork here, all on core. I can pull this up later. He literally shot him in the knee right here. Now, I'm going to open up the paperwork in a second, because this shit is just absolutely insane, but um, to my knowledge, P-Money wasn't hurt. Um, they shot at him, but they missed, I guess, and they hit uh, Damon Rothmel instead. Um, I'm not sure if there was any damage done to P-Money's car, like if they shattered his window or something. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they did, but it doesn't say that. But anyway, yeah, so I don't think P-Money got hit, but he chased them, and he shot the shooters and shot a butta in the knee. Um, and I believe it was just P-Money here. Uh, I don't think there was anyone else uh, with him. I think it was just him um, alone in this car here. Um, and this is just insane, so I'm going to pull up the paperwork here real quick. All right, here's the paperwork. This is actually the arrest warrant for Blue. Um, this was issued uh, sometime. I'm not sure. I can actually check. I think it says this was issued. Uh, 
this is actually like I think in twenty twenty one. Yeah. So this was this was after I think Blue was already in custody for the um the little buck hit. Um, and they were just charging him with this after he was already, uh, sitting in jail. So, basically, yeah, um, this is the whole thing, you know, all this paperwork, Blue, you know, th all this, like, information about him and, and all this, you know, his fingerprints, all that shit. Um, and then basically the warrant talks about the situation, uh, here, right here, and you can see, um, this is, this explains the whole situation, you know, Damon Rothmill killed on, uh, January 31st, 2019, blah, 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 killed uh, at the tinning shop, um, on Emerson Street, um, and then here explains the whole thing, what I just told you, basically, that, um, the detectives um found they actually found surveillance footage of the of the whole thing going on um and showed the whole situation so as you can see um the person here they said uh the video surveillance and additional investigation established the intended target of the suspects during the drive-by shooting was another subject who was in a blue toyota rav4 suv uh, this was p money uh, i don't know why they didn't say his name i guess to keep it confidential but yeah th this was this has been confirmed to have been p money in the toyota um and they basically shot him and as you can see here this this whole situation is so crazy because blue like I don't even know how to say it. like this this whole thing is just nuts because um blue is like he's one of the OGs from flag street like blue is a really really sketchy person like there's all sorts of shit you can look into him from before like he, he was a big crack dealer in flag street and he um he actually snitched on like the blue is like a okay I'd say blue is like the closest thing to like a, a actual boss like a crime boss in um in the whole beef that I can think of because this dude he had like cops on his payroll and shit like this dude literally had like cops like on his shit you know what i mean like co cops working for him he's like some suge knight motherfucker back in like the early 2000s and um you know i'm not this isn't a blue video but i just want to give a little background on the guy he um uh allegedly he, he apparently like snitch or he 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 was charged for a murder he was charged for like several murders got away with everyone um but he ended up snitching on some people uh back in like the early 2000s i think he ended up snitching on the cop that was working for him so he could get a lesser sentence he got released and he's been just out here chilling ever since um and it seems that uh although he's from flag street uh he must have he, he got involved with ace and the west side and the guys in melvin park somehow um i think mainly through queso actually because queso um a lot of atk members have connections to a back street which is kind of near flag street queso was kind of involved in all that so they kind of all just got together um through that but blue is like He's definitely a senior figure, even though he's not, he probably wouldn't claim ATK, he's definitely a, se a senior figure in ATK, and in, um, Backstreet, Flag Street, all that shit, um, all that shit is connected, ATK, uh, the Melvin, Melvin Park, uh, you know, Orange Park, uh, F uh Backstreet, uh, 26 and Moncrief, Flag Street, NHG, all that shit is all, it's, 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 it's kind of messy, but it's all, it, it's, it's all linked, it's all linked, so that's what you need to remember, um, uh, but yeah, back to this, so basically what happened was after the shooting, uh, Butta got shot in the knee, so he um, uh, he basically called up uh, Blue and Blue met him at the uh, had a, met him at a restaurant, gave him five hundred bucks to uh, leave Jacksonville and lay low for a while. Um, and as you can see here, it says uh, in addition to uh, Hudson and Brown, these were uh, the other guys uh, on the hit. I believe Hudson, Derek Hudson, is a uh, no face from ATK, and Brown is uh, I don't know if it says his full name. I think it's like uh, let me see. Okay, control F isn't working for some reason anymore, but um basically uh yeah, so Brown so Derek Hudson is no face and Brown, I believe it's like I can't believe I see his full name. I, I forgot his full name, but it's it's um it's uh Chris from ATK. So uh on this hit uh, on P Money there was three people. It was um it was Butta from Flag Street, uh, Chris from ATK, and No Face from ATK. I shot, shot at P Money, killed Damon Rothmel in an accident. That's basically what was going on. So, um, uh, Blue here gave um, he gave uh, Butta five hundred bucks to get out of Jacksonville, um, and he laid low, I guess, for a while with his girlfriend. Then he came back to Jacksonville, and obviously he was, you know, he got shot in the knee, so he was still, you know, in pain and shit. And then he uh, he ended up contacting uh, Blue, and Blue um, took him to a doctor's office um, to kind of basically like under the table, like, check him out, um, and not report the, um, the injury to the police, you know what I mean, so, because, because if you go to, like, obviously, if you went to the hospital, they'd be like, oh, the police would come, they'd be like, how'd you get this bullet wound, blah, 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 that might link back to the, the killing of Damon Rothmel, so they went to this, this sketchy doctor, basically, to, um, to, uh, basically get it checked out, um, you know, under the table, without, without the doctor, uh, reporting it to the police, um, but then, basically, what happened was the, um, the, uh, the doctor couldn't remove it at, at the place, um, because, I guess it was just like a small clinic and he, you know, he doesn't have like surgical equipment and shit like that. And the bullet was already so embedded in his knee that he couldn't really do shit about it. So, yeah. And obviously because we all know, but as a, a snitch now, he's, um, he basically, he, he told on everyone. He told on the doctor, he told on blue, he told on no face. He told on, um, on, uh, Chris 
and basically got everyone wrapped up. Um, so he, he's snitching on two different cases now. This is actually crazy. Butta is snitching. He's snitching on the Lil Buck hit, and he's snitching on the Damon Rothamel hit, and he may even be snitching on the Bibby hit because you know there's a snitch on the Bibby hit. Uh, it's possible that that person, it's likely that that person is, is Butta, which is fucking nuts that Butta is snitching on three different murders. It's, it's nuts. Like, why do you even do that? Like, what do you think is going to happen, Butta? Like, you're not going to get let off the hook for three murders. That's the thing. Like, you killed three people with these guys. You think you just, oh, I'll just snitch on them. They'll give me, like, probation or some shit. What do you think is going to happen, man? You think they're just going to, you know, give you a slap on the wrist? Oh, yeah, sure thing, Butta. You know, go go live life. Like, fuck no. You, you killed three people, like... If you snitch, best case scenario is you get like 20 years or some shit. You're still doing 20 years in there as a known snitch who snitched on on, on these fucking very dangerous people. Because Blue apparently got someone killed from prison. So it's like, this guy's just so fucking dumb, in my opinion. Like, what are you doing, man? I, I, he's very snaky, but also just so dumb. Like, why are you snitching on three different murders? The shit's nuts. Um, what, what do you think is going to happen there? Like, like, snitching on a murder, it makes no sense. Because you're already going to get, like, they're going to throw the book at you. Even if you fully cooperate, you're still getting at least decades. So, you know, and being a snitch behind, like, a known snitch behind bars in prison is just, God, like, this dude just, you know, signed his own fucking uh, death certificate, so. But, yeah, back to um this. So, this was the uh, Damon Rothenmill situation. And then the, the thing I wanted to add was uh, back here, this is actually a deposition, uh, a blues deposition, which, and this is, this is like, really recent stuff. This, this was done on November 16th, 2023. This, uh, the core documents were only re released on, um, I believe it was February 9th of this year. So this is like barely a month old. So this is like really new stuff and it concerns Ace. And I think that's why people want to, you know, know what's going on. So this thing is extremely long. He, um, it, it goes on forever. And, and a lot of it is just like boring shit talking about like, um, you know, where he grew up, how many kids he has, um, what he did for work, all, all, all sorts of shit like that. So, um, yeah, so, uh. Not, not, not too important, but you can look through the whole thing if you want. But what we're, what we're interested in is Ace. Um, and he actually talks, I believe it's in this one, he talks about P-Money and, and the hit on P-Money and, and what's going on. Um, so that's why, that, I actually saw like a snippet of this on, on, on the Reddit. So that's why um, I was able to get on here and, and find the full thing. So uh, if you just control F Ace, you get to the important parts. Uh, okay, so basically here they're talking about um, some like entertainment group or studio that... Um, that fucking blue set up and then they ask okay like um they ask basically if 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 ace was um part of uh of this group and apparently willie uh from uh pearl street was um was part of this sort of thing and then they ask um if ace was a part of that he says no um and then they ask about scotty uh i believe this yeah this is scotty um if he was part of the, the house of pain he says no um and then yeah they just kind of they, they see like the since this isn't like they're kind of trying to edge him on like kind of like you know they don't completely come out and ask is ace a gang leader they don't do that they, they kind of like slowly build the thing you know if that makes sense like they slowly kind of start introducing things to kind of get the thing rolling so they're not going to just go out and say it but that's basically what they're asking um and then they keep uh, talking about ace basically so you know who kenyatta bullard is that's ace um yes he's young and ace um were you ever ace's manager no did you ever try to become his manager yeah what happened he already got a manager i think his name is mark blah 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 um and then Ace was able to connect Queso to Cinematic Music Group, right? Uh, do you know how much Queso got signed for? Um, I, I know it's advanced. I don't know how much he got signed for. Uh, yeah, so apparently Queso gave him some money from his record deal, like 4000 or something. Uh, and then obviously, since they're criminals, they're not going <laughs> to they're not gonna pay their taxes. Um, and then I guess they're like... Yeah, they're like basically threatening him with the IRS or something. Uh, uh, I don't know why, <laughs> but they are, so they're doing that, um, and then, what do we see here, okay, yeah, they're back to Ace, did you and Ace ever get, blah, blah, manage Queso, blah, 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 some shit about that, uh, Queso was signed to Cinematic shortly before the McCormick murder, so, so, yeah, so, like, Blue, Blue is snitching, obviously, like, he's snitching on his own son about, uh, this hit, so, Blue has no reason to lie here, really, he's, he's being completely honest, he's snitching on his own son, um, it is crazy, though, to think that Queso was literally signed to a, you know, a, a music group and making legitimate money and still decides to go out and kill people. Um, but, you know, that's just how some people are, so can't really, you know, I mean, he was dissing, dissing Willie, so, I, you know, I can't really <laughs> blame him for wanting to, you know, get some revenge or whatever. But um, and then I guess here's uh, Queso's, email, <laughs> Queso's email is a uh, Queso management two times at Gmail. Um, that's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, so I guess they keep asking him about Queso and his record deal. Um, 
Uh, yeah, some about yeah his record deal, how much he got paid for, blah blah blah. Uh, back to Ace. Uh, out now. So more more talking about Ace and Kazo. Uh, talking about music videos or something. Uh, yeah, talking about like Queso and Ace kind of blowing up and shit. Um, what else we got here? Okay, let's see. Why would Young and Ace be upset? I think this is talking about. Uh, oh, okay. I think they're talking about. Oh, yeah, they're talking about Lil Buck now. Okay, so. Uh, first, I found my daughter, blah, blah, blah. Uh, my April 2021. That's when I started cooperating. Um,. What is your understanding of the motive? Why Charles McCormick Buck was murdered? Uh, this song about Willie. You remember what he said in the song? Uh, I can't really remember what he said. Uh, then they're they're asking him if if if, if uh, Buck killed Willie, which I don't think he did. And I, I literally just dropped a video on Zell uh, yesterday. I'm pretty sure that was Paxson, but um, yeah, he said I can't remember basically. So uh, give me a list of names that of people who would have been offended by the song. So basically, gathering suspects on like who would want who would be upset. At Buck dissing uh, Willie, and it says, we got you, Queso, Hakeem, uh, that's Queso, or, yeah, Queso, Hakeem is, uh, Hakeem Robin, that's Queso, yeah, yeah, that's Queso's name, so I don't know why I put Queso twice, I guess, yeah, okay, so that's Queso, and then Queso's real name, and then Abdul, that's Crazy K, um, would you be offended by that, yes, what about other children, they would all be offended by this, yeah, 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 um, would Young and Ace be upset, I can't say, how close was he with Willie, uh, but he, I'm talking about Young and Ace. How close was Young and Ace with Willie? Uh, they don't know each other at all. Um, I, I'm not sure if that's true or not. Um, but it kind of makes sense because Willie was, you know, one of the older guys from like, uh, like Flag Street. I think you know he was in jail for ten years, came out, died. So what you gotta understand about Ace, Ace's crowd is, is Ace and ATK and all those guys. You got Ace's original people from the West Side, um, like Fast Money Goon, Tay Shots, um, those sort of guys, and then you got the, um, the guys he linked up with, kind of um. In uh, central Jacksonville, like Backstreet, Flag Street, Pearl Street, all those. That's kind of like Queso. Queso is kind of the, the bridge between them. you got to understand it's Queso. Because I believe Queso spent time on the west side and on the uh, in, in kind of the central Flag Street area. So Queso is kind of the guy who like linked everyone together. Like all these sets, all these gangs, they always have someone or, or multiple people who, who act as bridges between different like cliques of people and bring them all together. Like for, for um, you know, 1200... Um, Backstreet, you got like J Dot. You know, J Dot was close with TK and and, and 1200 and Rollo Way and all those guys. They J Dot's like the intermediary for ATK. It was Queso. Queso was the intermediary. So just keep that in mind. Um, yeah. So yeah, basically saying he doesn't know or he doesn't think Ace would really be upset about um, about the Buck thing. So that's that's good for Ace because that means Ace didn't Ace Ace wasn't mad about that. That means Ace didn't like commission the murder. Probably is it, like Ace Ace didn't was like oh I'm so upset about Willie uh, about fucking Buck dissing Willie, so I'm going to put a, a bag on him or something. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's good for Ace. Because um, I don't think, yeah, like, the, the whole Buck thing, it seems like it was kind of just Queso's business. It wasn't Ace dropping a bag or anything. That was just kind of a, a freelance murder or whatever. Like, Queso was just mad about him dissing Willie. It was, it was like, a, a personal thing, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, they don't know each other. Was he was he in the car? The car when Willie was killed? No, Ace wasn't there. Uh, Leroy Butta. Moody, I think this is the guy... Red Dot told on. I'm not sure who Moody is, actually, but I, I know Red Dot told on him. Um, yep. So, ATK, what does it stand for? Okay, this is, like, where it gets kind of juicy, talking about ATK. This is, uh... The fact that this is being discussed, is, you know, it's, it's obviously not good for Ace. Um, you know, it, it just kind of sucks for him, because um, ATK's got a lot of snitches in it, so that sucks. But, um, they're really going after ATK. That's the thing, like, um, JSO, they, they, there might be an ATK Rigo dropping soon, but... I wonder if there's any, if this sort of shit is going on with 1206 block, because I haven't seen anything like this. I haven't seen, like, some guy detailing everything, and I think that's just because they're not snitching, you know? If you see about it, like, like, obviously, I'm not saying 1200 doesn't snitch. Obviously, they have snitches, but they don't snitch on their own gang. I've never seen, like, the only people I see snitching on their own gang are, like, these, the ATK guys. Um, so yeah, ATK, what does it stand for? Uh, you know what ATK is, though, right? Yeah. When your U-Haul were searched, there was ATK stuff in there, right? I wasn't there. All right, but you know that you had possessions that of yours that had ATK written on it. Of mine, yes. I'm not sure about that. All right, who is affiliated with ATK? I mean, Queso, Kareem, uh, Abdul. Um, so he's, hey, this is crazy. He's literally snitching on his own. So that's that's actually crazy. Like, I can't imagine. Like, imagine being a father raising these guys, and then you're you're sitting in police saying, "Oh yeah, uh, my son, he, yeah, he's ATK. My other son, he's also ATK. He's all they're all criminals. They're all gangbangers." Like, that's actually really fucking crazy to me. But 
Yeah. Uh, before you're saying they're kin to me, blah, blah, blah. Like, who was kin to me? Yeah, so talking about who's, like, affiliated with ATK. Um, let's see what, what else we got. He, yeah, they're saying, I'm trying to get a list of people, basically, um, who'd be upset. So they're, they're basically trying to be ask, they're basically co uh, covertly asking him who who would have been, who had a motive to kill Lil Buck, basically. Because they're asking, like, who, who would be offended by him dissing, by the fucking diss song on, on Willie, basically. Um, would the, would the member, blah, 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 would any of the members of the ATK be upset by that? I would, I, I would think that they would be. All right, now it's for ATK. There are numerous members, right? Yes. Do you know who? Like JD Youngin. Yeah. He's another rapper out of Louisiana. Yeah. Uh, and he was close with that group, correct? Yeah. ATK KC. I believe that's Keese. They're just misspelling it wrong. Um, yes. Fallout Sosa. Yes. They're all people affiliated with ATK, right? Leroy affiliator. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Leroy Whitaker is affiliated with it. Yes. So yeah, they're basically just, yeah, this guy is like snitching on all of ATK. It's, it's actually crazy. Like <laughs> he's just throwing everyone under the bus. Jesus Christ. Um, Okay, so you know the people that was involved in the group. Do you know what ATK was? No, not what it, not what the name stood for, what it means, but what ATK was. Was it a business? Was it a rap group? No, it was a gang. That's actually crazy as fuck. Like, that's actually so crazy, man. This guy is crazy, man. Blue, man. He, I swear to God, he's got to be the biggest rat. That is insane, man. How are you snitching on all... You're snitching on his kids. They literally ask him. They didn't say gang. They said, is ATK a business? Is it a rap group? He says, no, it's a gang. I mean, a, a group of guys going to stick... Okay, so he, he backtracked a little, saying, okay, they're, they're just going to stand together. Okay. You basically defined my college hockey team. We were close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not a gang. So, I don't know. But Blue's still snitching. Um, you're telling me is, blah, 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 that the office used the word gang in a concerning way. Trying to say, oh, it's a gang, it's a gang, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's a group of boys, blah, blah, blah. I, I don't know why he's, like, backtracking now. It's like, you literally just threw all your sons under the fucking bus, and now you're trying to be like, oh, no, it's just, we just stick together. That's what they always say when they say, when people ask them, it's a, it's a gang, they say, no, it's, it's not a gang, man, we're just a family. That's, that's like, what they always say, but... Um, also, I do want to add, like, it's not surprising that Blue's a snitch, because a lot of times the biggest, like, fucking, uh, kingpins and shit, they're all snitches, like, that's how they get on top, is by snitching on other people, making deals, all sorts of shit, that's super common, just like the guy that Honeycomb Brazy's beefing with, uh, in, like, Alabama, that fat guy, that dude's, like, a giant rat, so, yeah, uh, this may be, were they criminal gang, uh, or were they just a group of guys, blah, 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 I could agree with that, the second one, yeah. Um, okay, they all know, like, obviously they're all fucking, they all know it's a criminal gang, they're just not saying it. Uh, how old are you again? I'm 52, I'm 44, a little bit younger. You Will Smith used to write. Okay, I think they're like, they start talking about drill rap. Um, they should just keep talking about, uh, McCormick and shit. Uh, okay, so there's a shooter. Talking about, like, shit like that. Um, okay, talking about Ace now. Uh, where are you? Into we're looking to build their case against Queso, right? They didn't come to ask and say, we're looking at Young and Ace, right? We're looking at Queso, not Ace. I guess that's what they're saying. Um, the, the FBI is totally looking at Ace, though. Like, Queso is just a, a, you know, a piece on the chessboard. Ace is the king. They want to take him down because he's uh, doing the same shit J-Dot's doing. Uh, interstate murder for hire. That's a big no-no. That's a big... Uh, FBI really likes to get on that. Uh, that's like some mafia-type shit. Uh, we're looking at Queso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Go back to Ace. I think they start talking about P Money later on. Uh, let me see. What are the members of Looking at Ace. I'm talking about Lil Buck's murder. I'm talking about sagging. I think they're still talking about Lil Buck. What was that? Okay, I don't know what that's about. This possibly may not be the uh, the paperwork on the P money thing, though. I guess not, because there's two depositions. This is just one of them, so it might be the other one. Let me see. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is like deposition. What is this? Oh, I guess this is like the word count or something. I, okay, that's uh, interesting. But yeah, this is a really long thing. Uh, I just kind of skimmed through it. If you want to, you know, look through it fully, it's on course. So just look, look up like. Um, Fucking Abdul Robinson uh, on core, and you'll find that. Um, but basically, yeah, so... Okay, now this is like talking about 300. I don't know what's up with that. I th yeah, I still, I, I'm still, i still not sure what 300 is. I think that's like a subset of ATK or something, but... Let me see, 300... Uh, okay. I don't know, they just brought it up out of nowhere or something. You said 300 people. Yeah, the group. The, number, the group 300. I think... I, that's like 300 blow. I'm not sure exactly what 300 even is. I think it's like basically just another name for ATK, but I'm not sure. Uh, 
yeah, just still asking about like um, Lil Buck, that sort of shit, basically. So this whole thing, this this isn't really concerning the P money thing. This is more just talking about um, basically. Uh, I believe it's just talking about like Lil Buck and shit like that. Um, but, uh, still interesting stuff though. Still interesting stuff. I'm gonna see if I can bring up the P money one real quick though. All right, so this is the other deposition um, of uh, fucking, what's his name, Blue. I believe this one actually took place uh, a day before the last one we just saw. So that one was November 16th. This one's November 15th. State attorney's office, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, and uh, I just put Ace here because he's, you know, you just put Ace um, kind of a, a good control F because then you just get to the part they're talking about, the, the, the shit we want to see, you know, the important shit. Not about, like, where he fucking went to school and shit. Okay, so, uh, think, began, they were just talking about, like, some random shit, and then we finally get to, uh, Willie, starts talking about Willie, so, January 2019, Willie Edison was murdered, uh, also in January is the homicide of the guy, uh, on the bike, Rother Mill, that's the guy I just did the shooting location for, uh, just a couple weeks apart, so, basically, yeah, this is exactly, so, what, what would have happened was, um, the, the get back for, oh, shit, no, this is great, oh, okay, uh, Okay, yeah, no, this makes sense. I was about to be like, holy shit, like, okay, I was like, I was about to be like, oh shit, was I wrong? Was it, was it actually Zell? Like, was, was it not Paxson who did this? But, um, basically talking about January 2019, Willie Addison's murdered, right? And then Rothermel's murdered. So I, I guess they're asking Blue, they're asking Blue if, if Rothermel was get back for, um, for Willie. Uh, and then he says, correct me if I'm wrong, you got involved in the Rothermel homicide for retaliation for what happened to Willie, right? No. So... This is basically, yeah, yeah, so, so, I got confused there for a sec, so, no, so, uh, I know this is confusing to remember, but, no, P-Money, this, this, the Damon Rothermel situation, that was not attempted get back for, uh, for, uh, Willie, that was not get back for Willie, because Six Block didn't kill Willie, um, Zell was get back for Willie, Rothermel was indirect get back for the Ace situation, and they start talking about that now, so, yeah, so, he basically clarifies, yes, Willie, um, uh, trying to kill P money was not because of uh, that was not because of Willie. Um, so then they're like, okay, so you got involved in the Rothermel, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't P money involved in killing Willie Addison. Well, that's what they assumed. So why'd you want to kill P money? It was really because of Ace. He did blah 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 when he did Ace and the brothers. So you wanted to go after P money for what he did to Ace and the brothers, yeah. So that's so so you know people still say Six Block might have killed Willie. You know I'm I'm still I still think it was Paxson because here he didn't say it was. He didn't say that Six Block killed Willie. They asked him right here. They asked, um, you got involved in the Rothermel. Rothermel I'm just going to say Rothermel slash P-Money because that's basically what it was. Rothermel slash P-Money situation because of what happened to Willie. No. He says, no, it was not retaliation for Willie. It was actually retaliation for the Ace thing. So that's what happened. So P-Money, uh, they basically say here, they basically confirm that P-Money was on the Ace hit. And uh, people have known that for a while. Um, a lot of people didn't, you know. A lot of people, like, at first, you know, started off thinking it was like oh it's like it was kojak or oh it was it was y &R. oh god that was so stupid people back then oh my god people back then oh my god it was tony joe bro it was, it was tony joe mookie and slugger bro they killed ace bro they they tried to kill ace they killed 23 oh my god bro y &R is so cool fuck off like that shit was such bullshit man i, I okay i'm gonna quick rant y &R is so fucking gay like imagine like base getting a whole rap career off of some shit some other men did like you know what i'm saying like you didn't even do that shit you just false claiming work like a bitch like you don't even do that shit. You know what I mean? They're like, why not, Mookie? Oh, that fucker. Always trying to be like, hey, hey, pull up on the red light. Hey, get the ribbon in this shit. Fuck off, Mookie. You never pulled up on a red light in your life, pussy. Like, you literally, you know what I'm saying? You literally fucking trying to make it seem like he did the ace shit. It's like, fuck off. Tony Cho, all like, oh, I did the ace hit. Like, fuck you, man. Right here, literally. P money. P money did the ace hit. Right here. P money. And, and no one can say snitching because this is a public document. So basically, yeah, P money confirmed. Absolutely confirmed was on the ace hit now. Um. And then, you know, uh, obviously, like, Trey D and, you know, 50K as well. But um, they're not, you know, it hasn't been confirmed yet on police reports, whatever. But, yeah, so, basically, yeah, I'm talking about P-Money. Um, so, so basically saying the reason they targeted P-Money uh, here in January 2019 was because of what he did to Ace, not connected to Willie. Uh, for instance, the town center shooting. Okay, so not the Willie Addison shooting. Well, we assume, yeah. Well, when you say we, we had speculated. Like, it was more so because of Ace than Willie. So, he's basically saying they didn't know really who killed Willie. So they're saying it was more because of Ace than Willie. Because they don't know who killed Willie, I guess, at this point. Because if you remember, Zell was killed in March. So they might have found out it was Paxson later on. Like in fe February or something like that. Uh, P-Money tried to kill Ace. And therefore, you wanted revenge on P-Money. Yeah, for the money. I got that right. Yeah, for the money. So basically saying P-Money had a bag on his head for this. 
uh, you know, you can probably guess who put the bag on him. Uh, <laughs> when was the shooting by P Money against Ace? I was locked up. It was June of 2017. That's wrong. Or yeah, June of 2017 or 18. Yeah, so it was June 2018. I guess he just kind of, you know, he said June of 2017 or 18. Just to clarify, it was June 5th, 2018. Um, yeah, June of 18. Uh, that's when Ace almost gets whacked by P Money and his crew. Yeah, does that involve McCormick also? P Money tight with McCormick or no? I don't know. I don't. F he might have been because uh, they were both kind of older members of AV6, but I'm not sure. I, I don't think Lil Buck was on that hit though. So yeah. Uh, and this right here, they're mainly this deposition. They're mainly trying to get. Um, they're trying to. They're trying to solve the uh, the Lil Buck case and the um, and the fucking and the Rothamel case. So they're more interested in that than you know Ace or whatever all that other shit. And just. To, Ooh, just to clarify, um, McCormick is Lil Buck. So just remember, his, his, his name is Charles McCormick. I know it's confusing because, you know, so many fucking names, but McCormick is, is Buck. And uh, Rothermel is like the innocent civilian. And, you know, P-Money is P-Money. So, yeah. So, does that involve McCormick? Yeah, yeah blah, blah, blah. No. So you wanted revenge on P-Money for him trying to kill Ace. Yes. Do I have that right? Yes. It was really for the money. Yeah. What do you mean, really for the money? That's what it was for. Really, it was for the money. Another murder for hire, right? Just that. Just that. Just that one, yeah. That was going to make you rich? No. Was it worth it? So that's that's actually crazy. Another murder for hire. So they know what's going on. Like, the, the whole bag dropping thing. Oh, I, I snatch hats, you know. I buy hats, all that shit. That's nothing new. They've been doing this forever. But, um, yeah, people just didn't really know <laughs> until J-Dot started making that shit trendy to be like, oh, buy hats, buy hats, buy hats. You know, I wonder if in, like, <laughs> in two years... <laughs> We'll see, like, we'll see, like, Green Light's deposition or some shit, talking about why he killed Mitch, <laughs> talking about, you know, all this shit, like, on paperwork, that'd be so fucking funny to see. Oh, my God, in the steakhouse picture, oh, God, that's, oh, imagine that, oh, my God, I'm sure there's documents on this, I, I'm absolutely sure there's already, there's, in somewhere in JSO, they have a document with the picture of, of, of Green Light eating the steak at, the, at that fucking steakhouse, I bet they have that picture, I bet they have that picture, they just haven't released it yet, that's so fucking funny, man. Oh my god, I can't wait to do a, a video on that, it'll be so funny. But yeah, so, here basically confirms uh, P-Money had bread on his head. Um, I don't know, I'm not gonna say who put it there, you can probably guess who put it there. Um, put that money on his head. Um, yeah, so just that, just that, uh, that was gonna break his No, was it worth it? At the time, I thought, yeah, it was. So, even though Blue, I think they're, they're asking Blue here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're talking about Blue here, so... Uh, Blue wasn't on that hit though. I guess they're just saying like he was cut. He, he was still. I guess Blue would still be paid because he helped, but uh, you know like uh, lay low and you know, fucking you know took him to the doctor and shit like that. So I, I'd assume he'd still be getting a cut of the of the you know of the hit or whatever. Um, most information. No, by the time I thought it was yeah yeah it was. How much were you gonna put in the bank from going to kill somebody in their life? I don't know the exact amount. I mean, you were banking on it, right? Yeah, it would have been over 10 grand, but I don't know, like, the exact number. <laughs> that's insane. Imagine trying to go out. I mean, unless he's lying, that's kind of crazy, just being like, yeah, I'm going to kill this guy, but, you know, I'm not exactly sure how much I'm going to get paid, but, yeah, that's crazy, though. Like, so that means P-Money had, had over 10K on his head. That's that's fucking nuts, man. Uh, you ever had a lawyer? Yeah, yeah, okay. Come on, private lawyer. I don't know why to talk about this, at least. Um... What are you going to do with that money? You have a plan? You're just going to kill someone for it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you ever had that job? Yeah. Why not work? Uh, work, it was just out of the picture. Because it's people find where you work. <laughs> Jump out, squeeze. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> are you putting out diss songs and pissing people off? No. Did you have anything? You know, target. Your fear of going to work at a 9 to 5 job. Because someone's going to come hunt you down. That's what you're saying. Yes. That's absolutely correct. Look what happened to Jump Out. Uh, what reason do you want something? Circle the bicycle case. This is the one where you were gathering a crew to try to go kill P Money, right? Are you talking about Rothermel? He's talking about his case. Uh, if it's if you're going to be asking questions about the case, I'm gonna to object to that because I'm not prosecuting that case. I don't know the facts of that case. Understood. Blah blah. blah. Um, can I get the rounds? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cooper talking about some bullshit. Uh, I think this is like this is the lawyers arguing with each other like <laughs> this whole time. They're just arguing with each other. Uh. And then, let me see some more Ace. Wait, Xavier Howard, you saw him in the car next to Pima. Okay, I don't know what this is. Chris, time out, let me proceed. Okay, um, Mr. Varner. Oh, okay, oh, no, 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 okay, so this is actually, oh, okay, um, I'm sorry, guys. So, so the last deposition, that was, I'm so, I'm so fucking stupid. It literally says right here. I'm sorry, I gotta clarify. The last deposition we saw, that was blue. This, this deposition, this is of, of, of Butta. This is Flag Street Butta. So I'm, I'm fucking stupid. Okay, sorry. So yeah, last one was blue. This is Butta. Gotta clarify. So this is the guy who got shot in the knee trying to kill P-Money. So, okay, that makes sense though. So, makes sense that, um, he was actually, you know, um, 
he, he was going to be paid. Like, Blue wouldn't get paid for that shit. Uh, Butter would because he, he went out to kill uh, P-Money. So, and this makes sense because, you know, Butter's from Flag Street. I don't think he, he knew Ace or anything like that. So it wasn't like some personal, like, get back. They were, they were just paid to do it. Uh, you know, so yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, Roth and Mel Matter is you intended to go hunt down P-Money and kill him, right? You wanted him dead. That was the goal. You can answer that. Yes. So Butter says yes. Um, uh, and that's also the case where you were gonna, your motivation was to get paid in order to kill him, right? Including the people that may have been with you, including Xavier Howard. I think, Xavier Howard. I actually don't know who that is, Xavier Howard. If anyone knows, like, maybe put in the comments, because Derek Hudson is no face and Chris is Chris. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know who Xavier Howard is, but, uh, you saw him in the car next to P-Money. So, I, I'm not sure if they're saying that's... I guess they had, like, multiple people converging on him or something. Or, I don't know, maybe this guy might have been, like, getting the low for him. Like, following P-Money, called them up or something. I'm not sure. Um, but he, apparently he was in the car next to P-Money. Okay, yeah, okay. But it wasn't for... It wasn't to get paid like that, right? It, it was really just to kill P-Money. But Xavier Howard would have been collateral damage. No, it doesn't work like that. Wasn't he in the car next to M-Money? I don't know who M-Money is. That might be a typo. Uh, that's probably a typo. Um, at the time, yes. There's also a case where Abdul Robinson Sr. Blue provided the bounty, right? Like, he's the one who put out the money and said, I want P-Money dead, right? You're just looking at me. You need to answer that question. Yes or no? Yeah, you can answer that question. Yeah. Okay, so this is crazy. So, okay, so they're saying, um, they're saying that, um, Blue actually put the, uh, the money on P-Money, which is interesting because, um, I thought it would have been, uh, Ace, you know, because of personal shit. So I'm not really sure why Blue put money on P-Money, um, Unless Ace uh, paid Blue to put the money, like unless unless Blue was the middleman between Ace and the shooters, uh, which is possible, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, then this might be. I'm not sure why Blue put money on, on P money, uh, but they're basically confirming that. So okay, so your moment was too okay. Let me see here. Where was I? Uh, I want P money dead. Blah blah blah. Uh, where's it talking about the bag? Okay, yeah, the bounty said yeah. Okay. Uh, your, what you said before was your motivation in addition to the money was not just retaliation for the Willie Addison murder. It was also to get P money for what he did to Ace back in 2018. That's right. So P money was on your hit list, right? Yeah. There were times, correct me if I'm wrong, where you would go, what you call it, freestyling, right? I learned it about it from reading your testimony, freestyling. Basically, we were just going out looking for random people we were going through it with, feuding with, yeah, to kill them, yeah. Okay, and you say random people. How many people were on your hit list? I can't give you a specific number. Okay, more than three? Yeah. More than six? Yeah. Wow. More than ten? Approximately ten? Maybe. Okay, I don't know. So how how often would you go freestyling <laughs> looking for people on this list to kill? I can't answer that. You refuse to answer that. Yeah, I can't answer. I don't know. Well, you need to say, I invoke the fifth if that's what you're doing. I think you said, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. How often would you do it? <laughs> I don't know. You don't want to answer it or you really just can't? You have no, you do, you did it so often you can't tell me how many times you did it. No, <laughs> no what? I'm just not going to answer. Okay, so I need you to say, I'm invoking the fifth. I'm invoking. And we'll certify the question. So I don't know why he's saying this though. Like, why would you, why would you admit to all this shit? And then as soon as they ask you how many times you went lurking, you're like, oh, I'm not going to say. Like, what the fuck? Whatever. Uh, what type of ammunition would you bring with you? I'm not answering that question. I'll invoke. Okay, we'll certify the question. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think I started to ask this. Abdul Robinson Sr. provided the guns and the vehicle to go find P-Money and assassinate him, correct? <laughs> correct. <laughs> like, what, what kind of shit is this, though? Like, it, this butter guy is so weird. Like, they'll ask him about, like, what type of ammo he'd bring. He says, I'm not going to answer that, right? Then they ask him if this guy <laughs> gave him the fucking car and the fucking guns to go kill P-Money. He says, correct. Like, what? Like, why do you, like, not answer some questions and then answer some? Like, I, I don't understand this shit, but... Which led to the innocent guy on the bike being killed. Correct. So not only did Senior, I believe that's Senior, they're talking, yeah, that's Blue, put out the bounty to pay for P Money's head, so to speak. Senior also, before you went out and set out to go find P Money, provided the vehicle that you used in the attempted murder of P Money, right? Correct. And Senior provided the gun, the assault rifle, right? I know you switched a gun, and we'll talk about that in a sec, but he gave you guns to go do it, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. You like the assault rifle so much. That senior gave you, you swapped it for your own personal rifle, cause the one he gave you was dressed, was more dressed up and had more, more cool things on it, right? No, no, no. So what happened? Was that was this a different time? It was the other way around. Tell me. What you're saying is it's the other way around. Spell it out. The other one that that we had was more dressed up, not the one he gave me. Okay. 
So we just, we just put his to the side. So, so you wanted to use the prettier assault rifle. <laughs> exactly. Okay, now I understand. So Zeke was never charged in the homicide of that case. Like you were, correct? He was charged with accessory after the fact, right? Yep. Even though under the principal statute, I don't know if you've read it, but Senior helped set it up. He he helped put you in motion, right? The attempted murder of P Money when Rothamel was killed, right? I don't know. Well, if it wasn't for Senior, you would have had to use a different vehicle, right? If it wasn't for Senior, you would have had you know. So basically talking about how Blue, you know, set up set, set everything up, blah blah blah. Um, senior met up with you the day before the attempted murder of P Money. That's when he gave you the guns of the car, correct? Right? Senior knew this was going down. Yep. He, okay. So so it seems like the, the the hit on P Money. They were planning this out for a while. Um, I guess they, they must have had like a. Uh, somehow they found out he was going to be there at that exact location because they were already planning this out and gave him the guns of the car beforehand. So, uh, yep. And then talking about more shit. Senior, this is going on. Yep. Even though blah, blah, blah. That's the instant you got shot because even though you tried to kill P Money, P Money survived and almost killed you and <laughs> some of your bodies in the car. That's what I was talking about earlier with the shooting location. Christopher Brown got shot. Holy shit. Oh my God. No way. No way. No, so P Money. <laughs> P Money shot Butter and then he shot Chris. Holy shit, man. Oh my god. Man, that guy is that guy's Satan, man. That's insane. That guy's Satan. Holy shit. Oh my god. Jesus. Man, those AV6 guys, those those the, the older AV6 guys, the fucking monsters. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, some of those guys are, like, on some Sinaloa cartel type shit. Holy sh- How do you get shot? You fucking follow the shooters and shoot two of the shooters who shot you. Oh, my fucking God. Damn. That shit is nuts. Man, P-Money's a savage, man. That guy's fucking nuts. Okay, right. So, you got shot in the knee, the leg. Yes. Bullet lodged, uh, ah, bullet lodged in your knee, right? Yes. A senior told you not to go to the hospital because they pulled out the bullet. And you know you were involved at the scene of the attempted murder of P-Money, right? Correct. At some point, correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Barner, did you, you did go to the hospital, right? Correct. So even though the incident happens January 31st, 2019, when you get shot in the knee, you try to get avoid getting medical attention until March 14th, 20, 2019. That's right. You went to St. Vincent's Hospital on that day, right? Correct. And you had your girlfriend at the time, Janira Smith, get on board with lying to the police about how you were shot, correct? Well, they never asked her. Oh, you don't know that she was interviewed later on. She was? Yeah, she was. No, I didn't know that. Uh-huh. I'll read it to you, but you lied to the police at the hospital. You gave a false report. Blah 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 blah. This is a long ass report, but uh, yeah, I, I, this video is probably getting long as fuck. But if you guys want to see the full, the full paperwork without my uh, fucking voice talking over it, you can just go on core. I'm um, just trying to see if there's anything more on it. I kind of got to wrap this up kind of soon. So basically, just talking about him at the hospital and shit like that. You kind of get the gist on what's um, what's going on now, right? But the most interesting thing to me is, is that uh, Blue apparently put the money on P uh, on P money. So. Uh, you know, I, I guess then maybe P Money might have killed Willie, possibly, because I don't know why Blue would go out of his way to do all this shit for Ace, you know, like give him the car, give him the guns, all that shit. Because if he did kill Willie, that's fucking nuts, man. That guy's nah. nah if he did kill P Money, then, or, or then, then if, if he did kill Willie, that's nuts. That's like, the, the, the six block just, oh my fucking god, those guys are crazy. That's like four people in, in like less than a year killed, like shit, man, those guys are nuts, man. Then Rollo after that, holy shit, man! They fucking man, they stomped those guys stomped, but then they got stomped on by ATK as well, you know. But you know, that's just how it goes. But yeah, absolutely, P Money, Fifty K, all those guys, so fucking deadly, really like actual smackers right there. Uh, yeah, P Money involved in killing. Oh uh, yeah, so Ace, 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 Ace. Talking about Lil Buck now. Yeah, it's the same place. It's place, place, Facebook, <laughs> Facebook, 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 mall. Okay, and then they start talking about Lil Buck, basically. And, you know, everyone kind of already knows how that went. They just, you know, followed him on core and, you know, followed him to the fucking strip mall, killed him there. Uh, your plan to kill already took place. Yeah, McCormick was some shit. Okay, yeah, so pretty much, uh, yeah, so this whole thing, basically just talking about the, um, Attempted hit on P money, which resulted in Damon Rothmel getting killed, and then talking about uh, the um, the little buck hit. So, which they were both, which which Butter was both on. So that's why he's being asked about this. Uh, yeah, and then lawyers just talking about some more bullshit, and that's it. So yeah, uh, pretty interesting stuff. If you guys want to go on court, check it out for yourselves. Go ahead. Um, it's all public information, so I'm not snitching. Don't bring that shit up. This is all public documents right here. But yeah. 
pretty interesting stuff. I might cover some more paperwork uh, thingies, paperwork breakdowns. If you guys got any like uh, recommendations, you know how to get any or you know any like fucking open cases or whatever that I can see. Cause a lot of these cases, like I'm trying to find the uh, the incidents. Like I look up, I look up like um, I don't know, like leaky leaky shooting location or some shit and, and all it'll say like they won't even say shit like they'll just say jso responded to a person shot the end like you know like what the fuck like they don't they don't talk about oh suspect vehicle fled this way or oh we we approached the scene and saw like a a black car with numerous you know documented 1200 gang like you don't say anything about that they just say like someone was shot jso cleared the scene like very brief so if there is any other paperwork, um, I'd like to see that. But other than that, pretty much it. Stay safe. Joel Entertainment Network out.